capture of Bozansky Brod, the Serbs have won their most significant military prize for months. There's been fighting here since last March, but in a final push launched this week, the Serbs destroyed all the resistance from Croats and Muslims, reinforcing the Serb hold over Bosnia and Croatia. Oh, we heard that spread shooting. We heard um, explosions, big explosions. The whole building is shivering, you know. Uh, big fire took, a lot of fire took place. The buildings were burned down. It's a complete disaster. The fall of Bozanski Brod means the Serbs have now secured a strategic corridor through northern Bosnia, stretching from Serbia in the east to Krajina, the Serb-populated area of Croatia in the west. About 70% of Bosnia-Herzegovina is now in the hands of the Serbs. The indications are that they will try to consolidate the uh, hold that they have over territory. Clearly they know that if they push their luck too far, they may actually end up with a Western military intervention, which they desperately want to avoid. Also, all their proposals tabled at the Geneva peace talks are based on the fact that they hope that the West would accept their carving up of Bosnia, which is more or less complete at the moment, apart from a few pockets in the northwest of what was the Bosnian Republic. The Serbs are certainly anxious to show the attacks are not all one way. Belgrade Television released these pictures, saying they showed Serb villagers carrying their dead, fleeing from eastern Bosnia after being attacked by Muslims and Croats.